everyone, it's Janie from College Russian, and in this video I'm actually going to be talking about how to teach yourself a language in general. Just tips and tricks that I've learned as I've taught myself Russian, Ukrainian, and little bits of other languages. Um, anyway, so one of the questions I get all the time when I tell people I speak Russian, they say, how do you know Russian? Okay, and the truth is that I just taught myself. I got really interested in it because of Russian literature and I just decided I'm gonna teach myself Russian. So I did and I got to a pretty high level before actually going to Russia. So that's another question people always ask is, is it possible to become fluent in a language if you don't live in that country? And the answer is absolutely, for sure. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about five different steps that I've found as I've tried and teach myself new languages that help you get organized and help you to start learning the language on your own. Step number one is start with why. Why do you wanna learn that language? So you need to think to yourself, why am I drawn to Russian? Or for example, I have been kind of bored and been thinking about learning a new language and it would make sense for me to learn Portuguese because I love Brazilian music, I love dancing samba, I do a little bit of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Like why have I not tried to learn Portuguese? I don't even know. So there's a why for me. I'm around Portuguese language all the time. I should maybe learn some Portuguese. So your why with learning Russian, maybe you love Russian literature, you have a Russian girlfriend, or you have Russian ancestry and you want to learn the language for that reason. So step number one is start with why and that's going to act as your motivation going forward. Step number two is once you have that why, then you need to start using your imagination. Start imagining yourself in all the different situations that you're going to need that language. So um, as you're, for example, learning clothing items, imagine that you're going to at some point need to buy clothes in the country. And even if you don't have a trip to that country in the near future, still imagine yourself. Imagining yourself in these situations where you need to use the language, it forces your brain to take this seriously. Because your brain is just gonna ignore everything that you learn if you don't prove to it that it's relevant and that it's going to need to know these things at some point. So step number two is use your imagination and imagine yourself in the situations where you'd need uh, those language skills. Number three, and I would say that this is quite possibly the most important, as I've seen people who try to teach themselves languages, is get organized. And I know, I know you guys know I'm crazy about color coding and stuff, but I'm just saying, have very clear expectations of what you want to learn and when. So this is where my training as a teacher comes in very handy because this is what I did my master's degree in is creating objectives and schedules and so on and so forth. So, but you can do this on your own. You can start to create goals for yourself. For example, like this week, I'm going to learn how to describe my family members or I'm going to go around my house this week and memorize all the furniture words and talk about furniture in my house that I really don't like. This week I'm gonna work on verb conjugations and so on and so forth. You need to hold yourself accountable to those goals and really stay focused on achieving them every week. Step number four is get access to resources, right? So what I recommend, and I've done this before, you can see some of my textbooks over here, um, I recommend you can kind of go onto a university website, like, you know, University of Chicago or something, and just look up what textbooks their Russian classes are using, or whatever language you're looking into. Look at the textbooks that they're using, and you can go ahead and buy those for yourself. I recommend something that has accompanying audio files online, because hearing the language is very important. So for example, here's my book that I bought for Polish. Um, it had audio online that I could go on and listen to, and it also had an answer key, which is really helpful. There's no reason why you, even if you're not enrolled in the university, can't get access to a lot of those websites. So a lot of those websites are out there for free. By the way, if you're learning Russian and you're not in a university, the most popular textbook is this Galasa. I can link to it below. And sure enough, it has a free website with all the audio files that you can go on and listen to. So start getting access to resources. Give yourself a textbook or something you can use that you can go through each week to sort of see your progress. And then lastly, is you have to surround yourself in the language and start speaking. So this can kind of require some creativity. 
a lot of times the best thing you can do is uh, just get online and find some of your favorite YouTube channels and then message the people on there and see if they're willing to either tutor you online, which they are. I offer online tutoring and there's also all sorts of websites that offer online tut tutoring. Um, see if they can tutor you or stalk some people on Facebook and send them messages of, hey, would you wanna do an exchange with English and Russian or whatever language you're trying to learn? Um, so try and get yourself some sort of language partner, somebody who you can talk with at least once a week who will hold you accountable to these goals that you're setting for yourself. So get yourself speaking. The other thing you can do, and I do this, um, my kids think I'm crazy, is talk to yourself in the language. Like you have to get your mouth using, using the language and moving in the language. So walk around the house talking to yourself in the, the language. There's no reason you can't. Also, the other thing that you can do to get your mouth moving in the language is to sing. So get yourself all sorts of uh, songs in the language downloaded and then print up the lyrics. Just do a Google search, just copy and paste the song title into Google and then just write lyrics in English off to the side and it should pull it up. So then you print it off and then start memorizing it and go through and translate the words. And then the most important thing here is to sing along to get your mouth moving in the language. That's the tips that I give and this, the system that I use when I want to teach myself. Now in the upcoming video, if you're feeling overwhelmed still and you don't know where to start, well then for Russian, I will have a video coming soon where I lay out an example schedule for you of when you should be learning what, and then I'll be creating videos for each of those weeks that you can go through and cover a certain topic each week. So stay tuned for that, and I hope this was helpful, and I wish you all the best of luck in studying your languages. Пока!